you guys. Somnia Stellarum here. I've got a little buddy here. He's shaking at me. <laughs> um, so I found a couple of zombie uh, zombie villagers. Um, I still haven't found an actual village. Um, strange as that may seem. So uh, I decided I'm going to take a couple of these guys and convert them. So uh, I'm just waiting. I actually died when I was trying to capture both of them. Uh, so I'm just going to wait for this guy to convert and then I'll show you um, how I tried to catch him. Um, so I'll be back when he converts and I'll let you know uh, what kind of what kind of villager he is. Okay, so we got a villager. <laughs> Yay! We finally see a villager. I haven't heard that sound in uh, well since I've started this uh, this uh, map. So uh, looks like a librarian. Let's see what he is. He's a librarian. Um, so he offers paper for emeralds, and then he also is offering a smite for book for 26 emeralds. That's quite a bit, actually. But I'm fine with that because it's a villager, uh, and now we can actually breed them. So you know what I'm going to do is, okay, I'll show you how I had to do this. Um, this ended up kind of messing up my whole... Uh, <laughs> All of this, uh, this is my entrance to the, uh, the mine, um, which is down here. Um, so that's what uh, this is. Um, but unfortunately, uh, when I was trying to trap him, I tried to bring him up close to my base so he wouldn't despawn. Um, and if you come out here with me, this is my little side entrance. Um, so I had captured him over in that field over there where you see all that cobblestone kind of littered all over the place. Um, and what I did was I captured him. Um, I was trying to build uh, a room to capture both of the, uh, both of the uh, zombie villagers. So I ended up trying to capture him uh, over in that area there. Um, so I ended up kind of having a bunch of mobs around me. I since lit it up to make it a little bit safer when I did this. Um, but I was jumping up here, trying to jump up and get up here, but then the zombie villagers were following me up. I was trying to trap them in here, or trying to go into the far end here, get them to follow me, place a block, but then they would jump up and stop that block from being placed, and kind of negating this whole thing. So it ended up taking quite a bit of effort and uh, there was a, a couple of creeper explosions, or multiple creeper explosions, I should say. There's a big crater over here um, from one of them. Uh, there's another one over there, uh, right here. Actually, I think this is where I ended up dying. Uh, I was hit a couple times uh, with some uh, skeleton arrows. A creeper exploded, and I ended up dying uh, on for the first time. Uh, let's just get this for the first time. I ended up dying on this server. So um, Yeah, I'm gonna hang my head in shame. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> but uh, that's okay um, We did manage to get the zombie villager which was the whole point of that So I captured him in here and then uh, here. I'll go and show you uh, How exactly I was able to capture him uh, inside of this uh, area here I brought him into this little tiny room, uh, and then I decided I kind of wanted to bring him all the way over um, to my base, just to make sure he didn't despawn or anything like that. So I was able to uh, make some tunnels. Um, I found some water over here. Um, there's a little lake in underground here. Um, I was able to bring him all the way out, um, kind of below this hill. Uh, there's a cave in here, so I kind of brought him right over the cave um, and then around this corner, this is that same cave again, uh, and I finally was able to bring him uh, where? Yeah, over this way.
so I was able to bring them up this way and all the way um, to this spot here. So now, now we have a villager. Um, we're happy. Uh, we want to get another one. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna go and do that uh, during the next night. You know what? Might as well. Might as well bring you guys with me. And uh, as soon as night falls, we're gonna just try to. Uh, run around until we find a zombie villager and we're going to lead them back into this same uh, area so uh, and then it'll be pretty easy to just lead them right back up there uh, and make another uh, potion to uh, be able to uh, trap them so let's see what we can do here Hi guys, Somni Slarm back again. Look what I have. I've got a golden apple and a splash potion. What does that mean? It means we found another zombie villager. <laughs> so we let him down this tunnel. Uh, and here we're going to, uh, well, we're going to do uh, exactly what we, we want to do. We want to convert him. So let's see what he ends up being. We'll give the splash potion. And now he's shaking while the curing agent works on him. So I'll be back in a couple minutes and uh, we'll see what, what this guy is. Here he is. We've got our new villager. Maybe he's a farmer. That would be really nice, actually. Hello, sir. How are you? You seem like a fine gentleman. You're an armorer. You're willing to give emeralds for coal? That could be very useful. And then you're willing to give iron helmets. I've got a lot of iron. This trade seems like it's worthwhile. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Take one emerald. Yay, thank you. Thank you very much. And you get all the bubbles of trade. Let's see what that unlocks. Iron, four emeralds. Uh, and then 14 emeralds for a chest plate. We don't really need that. We can give him, well, I can give him plenty of coal and probably plenty of iron as well. Um, for the moment, I'm not in a terrible need for iron. Um, that could change at some point, but, um, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that trade. Hello, sir. I'm back again. Uh, let's see about the trade for iron. Take 
Yeah, we'll take a... That should be good. Thank you very much. Give me some XP as well. Uh, and I might unlock some more trades. Uh, so four diamonds for an emerald. Not so good. Uh, 17. 17 emeralds for a diamond chest plate, though. That is not bad with projectile projection protection 3. Um, that is actually pretty good. Um, especially with when you combine it with those lower trades. Um, I'm able to... I'm able to get a lot of coal and a lot of iron if I really want to. Um, so that'll bring up the uh, number of emeralds I have pretty quickly. Um, and getting 17 emeralds shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and then we don't have to waste, what is it, uh, eight, yeah, eight um, diamonds for a, a diamond chest, chest plate along with getting the projectile protection three. That's not too bad, actually. Um, I'm probably going to do that at some point. Um, let's get you up near your friend. So, can you follow me? I can't get you to follow me, can I? Okay, hey, where did he go? Did he just disappear? Oh, there he is. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So you know what? I'm going to get you to... Oh, not over there. He's not over there. Like that. Take that back. Block that off. I want you over there. Hey, no. <sighs> oh, no. You guys are going to be douchey about this, aren't you? Where did you go? go into my house? You so did. Yeah. You not. Hopefully this doesn't hurt him too much. Should be alright. No, you don't want to go out there in the night, eh? Alright. You know what? This is going to be kind of awkward, but I suppose it has to be done. I'm over here right there. Like so. Uh, that'll be good enough for now. Hmm. I can't get out there anymore. You guys are such beans. You know what? I'm going to move them over one. These are almost more trouble than you're worth. Not quite, but almost. <laughs> Move over. So. Here we go.
I am gonna christen you Troublemaker. Okay. You are a troublemaker. Okay. Um, I heard an Enderman. Let's go see if we can find an Enderman. And I do kind of want to get some more XP. Uh, so I don't mind just kind of hunting around here. Uh, let's see what we can do. Still need the Fortune 3 pick. Um, but I'm going to need some more XP for that. Uh, and then once I get that, I'll be able to go down and get the, the um, diamond, all the diamonds that I found. Where did that Enderman go? He's gone somewhere. Oh well. 